Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I just saw someone on here say that they manifested the current car that they have. And uh, I just, when they say manifest, do they mean they put money in a savings account and bought it? using their identification and credit score and salary that they have from their job. Is that what they mean when they mean manifest it? No, it's not what they mean, but it's exactly what they're doing. What they mean is they're trying to convince you that they thought about a car and it just fell on their lap. And once you're convinced, they're going to teach you how and you only have to pay, like, what was it in the previous video? $222 for a session. I guess you can call it that they manifested you, you started paying and they can now afford a new car. Leave that man alone. Why would you want to be with somebody that's stupid enough to fumble with you, that is not intelligent enough to see your worth, that clearly has self-worth issues if he's willing to walk away from somebody like you? Because it is really true, they always do come back. To you? Come on now. You can't even find someone who can stand being around you for more than a week, and you're talking about they always come back? Come on now. He's stupid enough to see your worth? Maybe he saw exactly what you're worth, and that even made it easier for him to walk away. Do not ever, ever put somebody above yourself or love somebody more than you love yourself. Is that your entire word? Selfishness? You just made it a lot easier for everyone not to just not come back, but to walk away for good in the first place. So I had a meeting with my boss this morning and I asked her for more money. And I told her, I said, listen, there's three companies that are coming after me. I need more money. And she was like, surprised, like what three companies? And I'm like, um, hello, gas, water, and electric. <laughs> Just three? Am I the only one who's lucky enough to have three more? Cable, internet, and phone? Use mine too if she's not giving you a raise. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You need to get to the point where if a guy does not like you, it gives you the ick. That he cannot appreciate the work of art that is in front of him. He has horrible taste and he's ugly now. Okay, but does that change anything? He still doesn't like you. It gives you the ick. He was Prince Charming and now he's Gollum. Does that make you feel any better knowing that even Gollum doesn't like you? If your boyfriend doesn't buy you a hamster, what is he doing? Buying you a cat. Another day of men having all the audacity on dating apps. So the other day, I'm literally like three messages in with this guy and he mentions that he has a son. And then he in turn asks if I have any kids. And I reply, no, I don't have any kids. To which he says, is that by choice or because you physically can't have any? Who asked that to a stranger beyond inappropriate? And yeah, I think I'm ready to quit dating apps again. Again, as in you've done it before and you got back. Oh no, what are they gonna do now for a week until you come back? Yeah, they're gonna have to move on with their lives like nothing happened. You didn't like a question and you're ready to quit dating apps again. Great, you do you. You didn't like that question, it's fine. You don't have to. He also doesn't have to waste his time on someone who he cannot start a family with. And that was it. One question got you to quit on a dating app. You didn't just said no to that guy. You said no to an entire dating app why are you even on one it's obvious that you're not trying to date all men who build their platform on women's issues are not to be trusted <laughs> what <laughs> you're gonna believe her what does she know about women she, <laughs> she doesn't even have a <laughs> i'm sorry I'm so it's a joke you guys you guys get it right <laughs> Yeah, I do. Unfortunately for me, I do. But so many others don't, so let me provide some context. What she was talking about and what this guy was making fun of is this guy right here. I've said it before and I'll say it again. As a man, obviously it's incredibly important to make noise in bed. Like if your partner's sleeping next to you, you can very simply just turn to them and go, Hey, do you still like, why do you like me? Do you still like me?
To no one's surprise, all the queens in his comment section was applauding like he was the best next thing since cats. And it worked for him for a while until they started to not feel so great about him, as it usually happens. You have no right to say that you're single. You have no right to say anything regarding matters of the heart. Who are you? Why are you always chopping vegetables? What kind of wicked stew are you making? Ladies, be honest, is he hot, or is he just the only semi-normal person at your workplace? I don't know, I don't care, but I can only imagine how terrified the produce people at your local Walmart are of you. Stop it. Stop over the lemons. They found evidence of aliens and, like, no one even reacted, which, like, I don't really give it either. I have other things going on, but what I will say is that if the aliens are over six feet, and they are actually truly over their ex. And they mean it when they say that they are over their ex. I could be interested. Yeah, but will they though? Imagine going to them and saying, Hey, I heard that you're single. And they look at you and say, <laughs> Absolutely not. If you're the best Earth has to offer, <laughs> I think we're gonna just leave. Okay, I need men to stop using the word provider to describe something that only men have done in relationships. Like, is bearing and raising children not providing? Is maintaining and creating a home that is safe, that is healthy, that is clean, that is all of the activities are coordinated? Is, is that not providing? Like, you seem to be communicating that providing is only when you do something that provides monetary value. But if you wanted the things that women provide without a woman, without a wife in your life, you would have to pay for them and i keep seeing this like sentiment that is like resentful from men that they're the ones who have always had to be the provider but like who who do you think created that system almost every single person who was watching this TikTok, either themselves their mother or their grandmother lived at a time when women could not have bank accounts could not have credit cards could not buy a home could barely get a job what were we supposed to do? Women have always provided, so please stop using this retort as a way to say, like, it's unreasonable for women to say, men, we need a little more from you now in a relationship to make it worth being in a relationship other than someone who just has a job. We have jobs. We do all the things that we always have done, and now we have jobs just like you. So please stop. No. In fact, knowing that it bothers you so much, I'm gonna say it more after. Provide, provide, provide. Call me Mr. Petty, I don't care. I'll even change that to my middle name. Yes, providing something doesn't necessarily mean financial support. Great. You're raising kids, if you have any, absolutely amazing. You provide for the kids, I provide for the entire family. Oh no, I said provide again. <sighs> What am I gonna do now? There are two major scenarios in this case. The first one where you don't have a job and you're staying at home. And in that case, bummer. I provide for the family financially. And when I come home, I provide all the emotional labor you're always complaining about. Because yes, I'm gonna spend time with you and the kids. And share the responsibilities of that home. Second scenario, you have a job. Absolutely amazing. We both leave the house in the morning and we both come home after we finish work. We both get home and we share the responsibilities of that home. That means there's absolutely no excuse for you to complain about that emotional labor you have to put in because we're putting in the same effort and if we're going back to providing financially yes i still provide for the entire family even though you have a job i'm still the one paying for everything while you keep your money for your makeup nails hair and whatever else the only slight chance you have to pay for something is if you go shopping and in that case you're gonna pay for your own dress or maybe if you're going by yourself to buy groceries and in that case if you're not using my credit card you're gonna pay for it by yourself let me get to my original point provide 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 and no not even once was i complaining about providing for my family not once i understand that that is my role as a man and it seems it bothers you more than it bothers me what are you thinking if you're flying through the desert and your boat gets a flat tire what should you have in your pockets uh blue because ice cream doesn't have bones yes and this will be the end of the video as always i do hope you enjoyed it if you didn't i still appreciate you for making it this far thank you all so much for watching stay safe and i will see you in the next one